Hey everybody, it's Romania Black, and we're on volume 11 of Toilet Bound Hanukkah Coon. Um, <laughs> this, the last two volumes, volumes 9 and 10, I read them all in one sitting because I was like, I couldn't stop. I was like, hold on, what's happening? And this arc has just, it has gone crazy. We have like gone off the deep end, um, or Hanukkah's gone off the deep end. I, I love the idea that we're in this fake world, and it didn't even dawn on me did not even dawn on me the implications of, oh, Yashro, she's had this death sentence that she's going to die within a year. That doesn't happen in this world. Anything can happen in this world, but people don't die. It's just time is suspended. So, of course, it didn't even hit me. Of course, Hanako would be like, yeah, this is our problem solved. We'll just keep Yashro in here, pretend like it's an illusion, and nothing bad will happen. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a good idea. And clearly, um, Ko has realized, nope, that's not a good idea. And he's gotten uh, Mitsuba on his side, being like, this is not a good idea. We need to leave. And Mitsuba is finally convinced. And now Hanako has just revealed that he's known all along about this. He's gone along with Sukasa's plans. And like I said in the last volume, this is clearly Sukasa just torturing them. Because if they don't get out, Fine, Sukasa doesn't have to worry about them in the real world anymore. They're stuck in this painting. And if they do get out, then it's torture. It's a win-win for him. And so uh, I just, that would just blew my mind last volume. And I've been told that this arc lasts two more volumes, volumes 11 and 12. So I don't know if I'll go through both of them tonight. I may just get through volume 11 tonight. And then I usually record these in the evenings. And then I might do volume 12 uh, soon, depending on what the cliffhanger for this volume is. But volume 9 ended in such a crazy cliffhanger, I was like, I have to keep going. And this volume just looks crazy. So, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, thanks for reading along with me. Uh, this series is just, the anime was great, but the manga has been so much better. And I'm so glad that y'all convinced me to read it because now I'm like, if they do a season two, they have so much material to go off of. Like, I, it, it's so good. Like, I'm just really interested. So yeah, we're going to do volume 11 this evening and uh, see what happens. Uh, my, my camera's a little glitchy, so if it, it glitches on and off, it has to do with the computer, not the camera. So... I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't glitch too much, guys. But um, thank you all so much for watching. And we are going to start this reaction here in five, four, three. Get myself situated. Two, one, and yeah. Oh, buddies. Oh, oh my gosh. That volume was so good. That volume was so good. Well, well, man, that volume went by really fast. Oh, so what? Okay, so the the number four is a drawing that has become a spirit, a supernatural, basically. But I like the idea that this this is such. I mean, what a! I love that Yashiro gets the story to herself where she confronts this character, May, who is going through the exact dilemma she is. Like, May is, and, and it's kind of the same thing. Like, May has had all these nurses and staff being like, oh, it's so sad, she's going to die. And she's had to hear that over and over again. And Yashiro is going to be dealing with the same thing. There's going to be people telling her, Hanako, Ko, Mitzvah, they're all going to be saying the same thing, like, you're going to die, and, they're, and repeating that over and over to her. So it's a good parallel of, okay, how are you going to deal with this? What are you going to do? And her having to figure that out, like, what am I going to do, you know? How am I going to deal with this and make it work? And, oh, my gosh. Just. That was, oh, man. So, Sukasa was trying to get uh, Shijima to kill the real girl. But the real girl's going back. So, I wonder how that's going to affect the stability of this world if the real girl goes back. Because it seems like, it seems like Shijima's trapped the real Mei in this drawing so that she couldn't actually die. But she's going back. So eventually, she is, right? And then the whole world will crumble, correct? Or will it all just stay 
like it was. Because it seemed like Shijima's goal was to kill the girl and then the world would just collapse and it'd be as if she never existed. But that's not going to happen now. So I'm really curious what Yashiro wants to say to Hanako. And the cat's out of the bag. She knows now. I'm glad that she's finally found out because I was going to be really, really nervous the longer this went on and, and Yashiro didn't know. So I'm glad that she knows. I'm glad that Ko knows that she knows. I'm terrified that Hanako knows that she knows. Tsukasa being so creepy, like, even when he's trying to help, he still has an agenda, and it's still dark and sinister. There are so many elements of this chapter that were just creepy. The nurses, and the fact they were all shadows, and Tsukasa, and just all of these elements that I've, I imagine animated would be so creepy. And, oh man, mm. that's just crazy, y'all. That is just crazy. So, I still want to know who the paint, was the paintbrush May? Was that her this whole time? Was she leading Ko and them to Shijima? Or Shijima the paintbrush girl and she's been trying to help the whole time? That's, that's the curious part. Like, who, has the paintbrush been Shijima this entire time? Or is it someone else beyond this that's been helping? Because I'm assuming the paintbrush told Ko and Mitsubo where to find May at. And that's when he kidnapped her and got Yashira out of there. And Hanako, he means well. Like, he clearly cares for her, and he wants her to be safe. And it's probably killing him to keep her in this fake world, because like Shijima said, he ha would hate a world like this. But if that's, that's all he can think of right now, to buy time to try to save her. Like, he's been trying to buy time ever since it's come out that she's going to die. Like, he didn't get rid of the clock keepers because he wants to buy time. He wants to keep them around in case if he needs more time. And he can, like, pause time or reverse it or go backwards if needed. And he didn't want to have this world present. But when he found out it was something that could potentially help Yashiro, he decided to keep it. Man. That is wild. That's wild, y'all. I love sassy Yashiro, for the record. I love that she's just like, screw it. If I'm going down, I'm mad. I'm pissed off at everybody. I'm going to take matters in my own hands. Like, bravo, for sassy Yashiro. Like, I, I am all about her getting some sass to her character. Like, what have I got to lose? You know? I um, I like that. I mean, if you've ever read Black Butler or Curse at Juji, um, Elizabeth's character, I didn't like Elizabeth at the start of the manga or the start of the series. And then by the time we get to the Book of Atlantic, which is an arc in that story, ah, she grew on me. I was like, I see what we're doing here. I'm all about this. So, um, I haven't actually read the manga much past Book of Atlantic, so I might have to pick that back up again one day. But I just remember reading that and being like, that the the shy character that gets a sassy streak, I'm like, yes. Let's do it, Yashiro. So yeah. Uh I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> I might just have to go ahead and read volume twelve. But um I'm super excited to see what happens. Um I'm it sounds like we're maybe getting some resolution to this next volume. I think they said next volume was a conclusion of it. Um I'm so curious. As of right now, as I'm recording it, there's only 14 total volumes of the series. So, and then they're about to get the chapter that would complete and make volume 15 out. Um, so when we get to volumes 13 and 14, we'll talk about what I'm doing with it after that, with the series after that, if I'm just going to have to wait till they get... I, I definitely want to do videos for the whole volumes at a time, but we'll talk more about that with volumes like 13 and 14 um, when they come out. But yeah. Y'all, this is a great volume, and now I want to know, what is she going to tell Hanako kun What talk no jutsu are we going to be doing? Because I love the idea of life and death that we're bringing up here, because Hanako has established how important someone's life is, because he's lost his, and Shijima seemed to want to kind of get May the same thing, like, don't you realize, like, if you go back, you're going to die? And this, this idea of life and death and reality and fiction... But I like her telling Shijima, she's like, you're not worthless. Fiction's not worthless. It has a point. And I drew you for a reason. And there's a reason I drew you. And, and that's, that's worthy. That has value. And so that was really cool. But I'm just really excited for the next volume, guys. I hope you all are too. Um, please feel free to comment down below. Please, no spoilers. But I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe and take care. And yeah, um, I'm probably going to post next week. Just volume 12. So... We shall see. <laughs> In any case, have a wonderful weekend, guys, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.